Plaza Solomon Science and Technology High School. It's my first time in a Filipino school. I really wondered what the education is like here and the vibe between the teacher and the students here. But as you can hear already, today I'm here because I'm going to be watching and interviewing the students where they participate in a Korean educated class from Filipino teachers. I'm letting you know this shooting is filmed under Ministry of Culture, Sports, Tourism. Thanks for inviting me, Raza Solomon, Science and Technology High School. And let's see how the vibes go. Let's go! Actually, now it's time to get in the classroom. And I'm so excited. It's my first time seeing a Filipino school like this. We have to be very, very quiet so we don't interrupt. <laughs> So here I am, so many Filipino teachers watching, so many Korean teachers as well. This is actually under Philippine National Commission for Culture and the Arts Cultural Center of the Philippines. Korean teachers deliver their own way of teaching method to the Filipino teachers so they can learn, they can give more instruction like the Korean teachers. The whole purpose of the education right now is empowering the Filipino art and culture, leading to the dedication to the society. It's very different than in Korean schools. I'll show you. They connected it all and it became one, which is incredible and that's amazing. The Korean teachers here are trying to boost their culture and art activities, culture and art aspects, and they're gonna boost more. He's sitting down on the ground and he's just like talking with the students all like all together. That's what I really like about this lesson. It looks like you got united all together. In schools. Ah, but you've been in the Philippines many times. Yeah. Ah. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, why am I doing the interview? Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> you already had four days. Actually, this is our seventh day. Oh. How's it going? The first five days was uh, fun and engaging, but it doesn't involve students. It's just us and other adults, artists, and other teachers. And it was fun and engaging. And and the activities that we undergone were great. Oh, yes. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Did you feel anything? Actually, this is my first time to you know interact with yes. Korean teachers. Mm -hmm. And I think they are all brilliant oh. and fun to be with. And they are very interesting. Mm -hmm. How was your day? That was good. Yeah? Yeah. Like, what was your favorite part? Dr. Kwak. Oh, Dr. Kwak Kwak. That was so the Oh, thank you! It got in! <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> so I'm excited about this. What was the best part of the class today? I'm super happy po kasi yung na pakikipag cooperate ko po. Tapos nalubog tuma sa self confidence ko. Kasi po may yain po ko. Tapos dal po don nagboost po yung confidence ko para makipagkano. Whoa! You got more confidence from the class. Um, Did you like excited. the class? Excited. Why did you feel excited? I experienced everything like this one must perfect, so you can use too. Thank you. Next. 
What was your favorite part? Naglaro po kami na kitty wood sa corner. It's really fun. I learned to get more socialized and I learned to be more competitive. Oh, competitive! <laughs> you learn how to be competitive? Yes, po. You can win anything now. Yes! Yeah! Bring it on! Yeah! This one is for your eyeshadow palette. It's really pretty. Yeah, this is this. What was your favorite part of the class? My favorite part of the class, we have an amazing fun ex activities and experiences from the Korean workshop. I remember doing the yoga dance with my classmates and with my best friend also. Okay, could you show me? <laughs> I'm always like looking forward to Philippines to have better education, better art and culture. I'm always here to root for the bright future of the Philippines. So I'm gonna be cheering for you. That was not day one. Hey guys, it's Sylvia. So it's day two. <laughs> can I see? Can I can I hear the balakbata? <laughs> All right, so I'm here at the Korean Cultural Center, which is located in Manila. It's so amazing to have this kind of exhibition, round table, discussion place. The discussions that Korean teachers and Filipino teachers shared together was very amazing. We'll be seeing so many different exhibitions, Korean and Tagalog language, which is so interesting, so let's go! marks the beginning of our commitment to culture and arts education for everyone. I've been exposed to a lot of art education and I've been doing art education as one of my works here in Manila. So I'm excited to attend the class because these are different techniques but it's an opportunity for me to uh, not to unlearn things but to uh, try their techniques, try their activities, uh, uh, understand what they can teach me so that I can use it on my own process to adopt exactly what they, what they taught us. It's really for me to, to get a view of what they do and then let me test it and then if it works for me, then it works for me. Or maybe create my own process based on different shared process of different teachers. So. This teacher actually. Oh. I'm a visual artist and also a dancer. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what did you learn from this whole program? I think it's more on inspiration and like connection. Those lessons in the way I make art mm -hmm. and also how I teach art. And more on the process, more on like giving. We've learned a lot to be honest. Okay. And I'm proud to say that this workshop made us 
feel more creative and ins inspiring, I mean, as a person. Tapos na ng event dito. I'm so happy to be watching all of these and I'm very thankful for both Philippines and Korea. The teachers and instructors, artists are doing so well. They're doing their best to boost the education on art and culture. Thank you the Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism, also ODA and all the people who participate in this event. Imagine the